Hello, my name is Tom Monson, and since the death of my son in 1993, I've been educating young people about the dangers of drugs. In 1999, I produced a film called Drug Wars, One Family's Battle. It's the story of a young man named Eric. At first, he started using drugs casually, ended up a heroin addict, and then he died. His sister tells a story of how heroin affected his life and how his addiction affected the lives of the people who loved him. We released the film in 2000, and it was broadcast on 26 different television stations in Oregon. Two years later, the state medical examiner reported that heroin-related deaths had plunged by over 50%. Now, we know the film had an impact because the people at the drug treatment centers told me that their intake calls for heroin addiction doubled right after the broadcast. And today, oh my gosh, the level of heroin addiction is off the charts. Folks, we've got to make this film again. Most of us know people right now who are fighting this addiction. It could be anyone in any occupation. A mom, a dad, a son, a daughter, a nephew, a niece. Our budget to produce this film back in 1999 was $100,000. Today it'll cost about $80,000 to bring it up to viewer expectation. The funding will be used for production expenses, licenses, distribution fees, and for film festivals. Why do we have to do this? No one else will. Don't expect our government to do it. Because of all the money they spend fighting the war on drugs, billions of dollars go to criminal justice, welfare, and medical expenses. The government spends less than 1% on prevention and less than 2% on treatment. So what's in it for you? Well, for a minimum contribution, we'll send you a copy of the new film. You can watch it, share it with someone you care about, then donate it to a school, YMCA, Boys and Girls Club, church, or your local library. But more important, by helping us with this project, you'll know you helped someone escape the clutches of heroin addiction and probably help save their lives. You may be wondering what kind of an impact this film would have. When we distributed the original film to schools, libraries, drug treatment centers, the feedback was tremendous. We received hundreds of letters and calls from school children, recovering addicts, their instructors, and a lot of parents who had their children watch the film. One young guy told me that watching the film gave him the why and why he shouldn't use drugs. Our goal was to get people not to think twice about it, but to think once about it and with a good reason to say no. What's cool is this film has traveled around the world and helped educate hundreds of thousands of children of many nationalities and cultures, help them understand the dangers of drugs. Why is this important to all of us? Most crime is drug related and we all benefit from a lower crime rate. That lowers our taxes, gives us a better environment to raise our children. Having lost my own son gives me a whole different perspective on how important it is to show our kids why they shouldn't use drugs. Since we're moving forward with this project one way or the other, the contributions you make are not at risk. The biggest risk is our challenge of how long it's going to take to get this film done. The faster, the more people will be able to save. I realize that some people just can't contribute especially if they have a family member with an addiction. If you don't have the means, you can still help us get the word out about the film and share this valuable story. This story is not just about heroin. It's about all drugs. And if you know someone who's addicted to heroin right now, they need to see this story. Thank you for your time, and God bless you.